this is my heavy duty boosh hog blade. Can't really tell nothing much in these weeds, but it's a heavy duty brush hog. And that's my old Dearborn plow that my grandfather bought new in 1958. That thing's plowed a lot of ground. And there's a homemade potato plow that my dad made. And there's a trailer I hooked behind my lawnmower that my dad made. And on the back of the 4,000 is a homemade pig pole my dad made. And this is a 1964 Ford 4000. It's a pretty good tractor. It's not the tractor the 3600 is, but it's still a pretty good tractor. I restored it about three years ago. It's been sitting outside. It's a four cylinder gas. I put a new carb on it, new brakes, new tires. Painted it, put a new steering wheel on it, seat cover, lights, 12 volt. I did, I fixed her up. The trouble is, nobody wants a tricycle forward tractor. They want a John Deere. I think they come John Deere's and shove them. I don't like them. Just got all the correct stuff, like the drop down draw bar and the stabilizer bars that I made. It's a pretty good old tractor. It's five speed. That's a spin out wheel on it. I've never tried them, but they work. Don't need to spin them out. It's a four cylinder. Here's a here's a toolbox I mounted to the front, but it's full of concrete. I needed some weight on the back of it when you got that old heavy brush hog on the back of it. Just full of concrete. Does a pretty good job holding it down. I like the old tractor, I guess it's, you know, it's, it's different. You don't see many of these things around. Don't have power steering, I wish it did, because I think, I think should be hard to steer sometimes. If you got something heavy on the back, it's not too bad, but if you ain't got nothing on the front, them tires are a little low. So yeah, it's going to be a little hard to steer like that. But it's a pretty good old tractor. This is my neighbor's place. They got all kinds of equipment over there. Dozers and things. Uh, that's it.